Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is part 8 out of 10 in my preparations for the LA Art Show. And this video's painting is titled Migration. So the landscape portion of this painting is a beautiful sunset photo of the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Southern Colorado. And this photo was taken by a friend of mine, so I'm really appreciative that she gave me permission to paint it. So like almost all of my landscape paintings, I started with the sky in the background. First putting down thick paint that I can then smooth out with a softer brush later on. And then when I moved on to painting the actual sand dunes of the piece, I was heavily focused on the highlights and shadows and how they created the shapes of the sand dunes. And especially in a sunset scene like this, the highlights are gonna be very warm, filled with yellows, oranges, and reds, while the shadows are much cooler with blues and purples. And if I were to go back and do this piece again, I would probably tone down the overall saturation of the piece, opting to mute the color of some of these oranges and yellows so that their hue was just a little bit less intense. But overall, I'm really happy with the look and composition of the piece. Being a figure painter, it was definitely challenging to think about how to center such a small square painting around the human form without cropping it too much and still retaining a strong composition. When I was composing this idea in Photoshop, I played around with many different orientations, seeing how the figure looked turned the other way, or if I should make him smaller or bigger to fit the composition better. And I felt so much better figuring these things out on Photoshop instead of during the painting process itself. And when I was thinking of the meaning behind this piece, I couldn't help but think about the concept of the end of a very long journey. One where every part of your being is tested and you've dealt with so many setbacks and failures that you come to the final stretch just gasping for air and searching for any sort of relief. I'm sure that there are so many of us that feel this way internally, but there's no way for others to see it for themselves. So I guess I wanted this painting to be a visual representation of this internal state. And I think that out of all my 5x5s for this show, this painting took the longest. There were just so many small details and textures that I wanted to include that I knew would make it really special. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this piece. I honestly think it can be really helpful to see these kind of videos showing seemingly complicated paintings broken down into their elements, showing that they're really not that hard in the end. They just require a lot of patience and definitely a love for what you're doing. So that about wraps up this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.